some really fun crafts. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, first, we're gonna be making some butterfly things. We yeah. Some so, what? Oh yeah. So, some of them that we've already made, we have here, yeah. this one. She's made two and I've just made one. So. And she's done this before, so. Yeah. Yeah, we practiced a little. Um, it's been like a year since I've made one. Yeah. So. They look really pretty and they're really easy to make. So all you need are some pieces of paper and some paint. paint. Yeah. And if you want, you can have some paint brushes, but you don't need to. So. so yeah, I'm really excited. Let me put that away. Here, that right. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So I'm gonna do first step is you fold it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make sure that it's pretty symmetrical. Okay. So, ah, where's the plate? Oh, there it is. So then we have some black paint, just plain black. It doesn't need anything special for the first part. It's just the body of the butterfly. Oh, wow, okay. My brush got a little distress. So don't make a line that's like all the way from up to down. But you, you can add a little head or not, and then you're just gonna curve it here and draw some little antennas. The antenna part is optional, you don't have to. It would be cute. I'm gonna try it on both sides this time. Okay. Yeah, I'm only trying it on one. So, this is what I have so far. I just made one on one side. Cool, because we are gonna be folding this over in the end. Yeah. So, so. make sure that you also have like thick paint. Yeah. You don't want the paint too thin because then it won't transfer over to the other side. And you don't want to wait too long to do this because um, it will get dried out. Yeah. So. so next we're gonna make the wings. Yeah. Do you wanna explain this? Okay, so, so this can go like any way, but you're just going to take some paint. So I'm going to choose pink, so I'm gonna use some blue. So you can put it on a plate and paint it on, but what I like to do is I just like to squeeze it. so pretty. Mine is, oh, yours is nice. There's got some in the middle. Yeah. So when it dries, if there's some in the middle, you could probably go over it with some black. I didn't Fix mean, it. I didn't mean to make a head, but I kind of did. It's cute. So yeah. it's was... just a huge butterfly, I guess. So that is really simple and easy and really cute. So for our next DIY craft, we're gonna be making some of these. We have some here. It's kind of like a tie dip, tie thing. It can kind of look like a firework. These are really quick and easy and fun to make a lot of. Um, you'll need some markers, um, just paper towels. These are really easy to get. Um, and then you also need some place to like dry it if you have like somewhere to hang it up. That's nice. 
um, we just use a paper plate to help. And then also we have just some other paper towels to set it on and stuff. And then, of course, you will need some water. And an easy way to get it on later is to um, use a pipette. But if you don't have one, that's fine. Um, we'll show you some other methods that you can use to do that. So, but first, we need the markers and the paper towel. And we're just going to start by coloring on this. Here's one, an example, before we um, got it wet, um, just over colored. You can go crazy or you can just do some And like stuff. with the butterflies, will it kind of matter? But the colors, this really won't. Um, they will bleed into each other a little bit, but like, um, not as much. And, um, it'll just look nice really no matter what you do. And you can do it like, color it all in, do a circular kind of thing coming out from the outside or whatever. Um, there's really no way to mess up. This one's mine. This one's mine. It's cute. Um, so she did a heart in it. I just did some of this. Um, there's like lots of different ways. You can just do scribbles. Um, yeah. It'll look good no matter what. Like this one. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do something where um, we have a sink back there and we're just gonna put it under the sink for a couple seconds and then like put it on the plate and then Put it under your sink a couple times if it needs it and then like let it dry out and then we'll show you that in detail later but for now um we'll see you when this is done yep okay so we finished that and here's mine um the color is kind of hard to see it just depends on what color you use and how long you keep it under the water but in real life um in person it looks really nice um mine is just can't even see it on camera. Yeah, and then when you're done, if you want to add a little bit of a, another touch, you can go in with little things. That might just a little bit, but um, it's optional. It's just a little extra thing you can do. Um, might not but I prefer it just on its own, like that. Um, and then it just depends on what colors you use, and and it is kind of hard to get the hang of and stuff. And again, if you have um, a little What's it called? Pipette. Pipet. It's a lot easier. So yeah. you yeah. just like drop it in the middle and, and then it'll spread. You're just gonna let it dry out. <sighs> it does take a little bit to dry, but not too long. Our butterflies. Yeah. Oh my gosh, all the color is bleeding out. Yeah. Mine wasn't very good. I think the um, ones we did off camera. Look even also, better. Yeah, so she these. They look even better off camera. This one was hers. I like this one best. Yeah. Yeah, it's really quick and easy, and you can make a lot of these. I am going to make another one. Stop. Yeah. Okay, so we have this one here, and um, to show it, I'm just going to put it on the plate, turn the sink on. And then I'm just going to okay. stick it under there real quick, so. And then I turn it off, and there is some water on the plate, so. Let's see how it came out. Um, and so, yeah, that's... It's really simple. You can probably come up with some other different ways to do it, and you're just going to want to let this dry, and it'll be ready. So, for our last DIY craft, um, we're going to be making these simple puzzles. Um, we made these earlier. Um, this one's a butterfly, and that one's Oops, just sorry. a rainbow. Yep. They're really fun and simple. Um, to distinguish between the two puzzles, this one has some little stars on the back, and this one has just some dots. And these are really easy. What you'll need is um, some paper or something, and then some markers or anything to draw these on. So just draw some little designs. Like, we already 
do some designs to make it easier. This one's mine. Oh, yep. And then I have this one. And then also, you'll need some scissors and some glue sticks. And then um, the you also need some cardboard to be a base for this. And um, you can make these as big or as little as you want. And you're just gonna get some cardboard and cut out the um, shape of that. Um, and it, like this, this is one. Um, you don't want the cardboard to be too thick or too thin. Um, so like this is a good thing. This is also good, not too thick. Um, yeah, and you're gonna want to take these and we, do you want to explain like this here? Um, I have no idea what we're doing. So we trace these on a paper. Oh yeah, so. And then. So we just, so we just kind of trace them and then we just drew our little things. And yeah, and we have so, to cut them out. Yeah, we're just gonna cut these out like this. We're not gonna draw on the, we're not gonna do the puzzle pieces yet. First, we're gonna glue these on, so. Okay, let's go. So then now, so then now once we did that, um, this is the easiest step. Mine is a little too big, it's okay. We're just gonna glue these off. Another important thing to remember is that we are going to be cutting these out, so you're going to make, want to make sure not just to glue around the edges or in some spots, but on the whole thing. So then we have this, and we're just going to cut out some puzzle pieces on the ones we made, the ones I made earlier. Um, these have four. Um, we're just going to like, you can cut it however um, how many pieces. It doesn't have to be like exact, and it's not going to be like an actual puzzle normally where it like clicks in and everything. It's just going to like slide in. So. So it won't be like where you like put a piece down. It'll really just be you like slide them together. Like that. So now we cut it. This is mine with this. You can have as many pieces as you want. Um, there's seven in this one, and then in this one there's five. Um, and you're gonna wanna make sure that um, the cuts aren't nice, that they're not all, there's not too many pieces, and that um, all the pieces are the same shape and everything. So you're gonna wanna make them different shapes. And also remember when, remember when you're cutting that, um, the scissors are sharp and it's hard to cut through that, so if you're stuck, having a hard time cutting through it, get um, us like a grown-up to help you. And if you're like a little kid or something, um, have it have a grown-up help you because you could get hurt with that, so just be careful. And this one was probably the hardest one um, out of all of them, but it's really fun. Mm -hmm. This one. I have no idea how my puzzle goes together. So yeah. Even I don't know how it goes together. I am ashamed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that one's... So yeah. Um, it's really fun and simple. And um, we hope you have a lot of fun making all of these DIYs and having fun.